Okay, just to, this is not the answer, but this is just to give you a feel for what's going on in the problem. Um, make an XY table, and this is your um, X, this is your Y, this is the rent that they pay, and this is the number of occupied units, occupied units. So if the rent's $1,000, all 420 units will be occupied. I hope this is getting it, let's see. Hold on. Nope, can't see that, can you? Hold on, let me move this. Is that? Let me move it over here. Just a minute. I think you can see that now. Okay. So if if they increase the rent sixty dollars, which would be one thousand sixty, then there would be twelve less units occupied, which would be four hundred eight. Okay. If they increase it sixty more dollars, then that was eleven twenty is the rent, and it would be twelve less units occupied. Okay. And you keep doing that, keep increasing the rent and seeing how many units, subtracting 12 and see how many units are occupied. Then you can graph that on a graph with the rent is your x-axis, occupied units is up here. Now this is, again, this is not the answer. This is just to give you a feel. This is what I did to give myself a feel for what's going on in the problem. Then it said in there in the question that this was a linear uh, function. So let's graph it. Thousand dollars, four twenty. So you go over to the thousand. It starts at a thousand, and you go up to four twenty. Put your first coordinate. Then a thousand sixty would be about right here, and up to four oh eight. Oh crap! Oh, the four twenty goes at the top. My bad. You start the four twenty at the top. Four twenty, and it goes down. Four ten. 400, 390, 380. I hope it went down far enough. Well, it goes farther, but this will work. So, Z, so this is your first coordinate. 1,000, 420. The next one is 1,060, which would be about right here, and then up to 408, which would be about right here. There's your second coordinate. And then 1,120 is about right here, and you go up to 396, about right there. You can see it's starting to form a line. The next one is 1180, and then up to 384, which is about right here. And of course, I'm not perfect because it's all messy, but it does form a linear function. And these numbers, of course, should have started higher, but this again was just to give you a feel for what's going on in the problem. Okay. Then, okay, that's that part. Then, this problem is horrible, by the way. I showed it to two other teachers. Yeah, they thought it said it was horrible, too. Okay, so what he wants a graph of is the rent versus the profit. So now I'm going to erase this and create another graph. Rent versus profit. The rent is going to go here. And this is going to be the profit whole different ball game. Okay, so to do that, and this, what I'm going to do now, again, is not the answer. This is still yeah, just giving you a feel for it. Uh, eight grade football players are reminded that equipment yeah. turn in uh, is tomorrow oh. after school at the high school. Okay. If at that's the, the rent, school. what's after the profit? Well, six, each uh, unit would be paying thousand dollars. Planning on attending the Ohio University volleyball match this Saturday. You need to have your paperwork in to Coach that's Miller by three o'clock today. Four hundred twenty thousand dollars. Sign up for Safe Center. There are flyers in the office. But. You have to minus what he had to pay in insurance, which was $100 a hundred dollars for every unit that's Tuesday occupied. Tuesday at seven o'clock in the high school so commons for any boy in grades seven through twelve that plans on playing basketball this season. So if you subtract those, at least one of your parents or guardians must attend the meeting with you. That. Once again, mandatory meeting okay. tomorrow so night. Then boys in grades seven through twelve planning on playing basketball. Increase That'll the rent by sixty dollars. Then what's this profit going to be? 
Well, every unit will be paying that much money. But how many units are there? 12 less than there was. There was 420 units up here, or this one. Now there's 12 less than that, which is 408 would be paying that. So this is 408 times 1060, which is 432,480. But you've got to minus out each unit would have to pay $100. 408 times 100, add two zeros, is that much money? So when you subtract those, you get 391680. Do a couple more of those just to get a feel for it, and then I'll make you another video to show how to actually get the answer. It's going to turn out to be a parabola, but um, we'll do the rest later.